On Monday, though, I was in Windsor for Garter Day, the annual celebration. It's the uh, oldest and most senior order of chivalry in Britain. We had some new knights being invested by King Charles. Uh, but we did have Prince Andrew there, but not on any of the public engagements, because, of course, he's no longer a working member of the royal family. Uh, but the uh, court circular did confirm that he took part in the investiture ceremony inside the Garter throne room of Windsor Castle with the king and the private lunch. But as we haven't seen for a couple of years, Prince Andrew banned, it looks like, from taking part in the public procession down from Windsor Castle to St George's Chapel and, of course, the service itself. What does that tell you about relationship? Yes, yeah, so we know Prince Andrew stepped down from public duties in November 2019. And since then, we've barely seen him at uh, any public engagements other than a handful. And uh, what else is interesting about that is Andrew is still involved in the feud with King Charles over the Royal Lodge. So relations between the two aren't exactly rosy. And yeah, Andrew's been allowed to conduct some duties, but in, in, in a private setting. Yeah. And of course, we have to remember that Prince Andrew is a garter knight. And when he stood back as a working royal, when the late Queen stripped him of his military titles and all his royal patronages, he remained a garter knight and still does to this day. So I think it would just cause too much of an issue if A, the king stripped him of being a garter knight, which would be a huge deal, uh, and B, didn't allow him to take part in any of it. Because what, what we're led to believe is that Prince Andrew, despite what he has or hasn't done, he's still a, a, a member of the Windsor family. He's still a private member of the family. So although he can't take part in the public proceedings, just because from a PR perspective, that would be a disaster. If you remember, there was a there was a service at St George's Chapel earlier this year. In fact, it was the uh, the memorial service for King Constantine of Greece, where Prince William pulled out last minute because of the Princess of Wales's cancer diagnosis. But you've got this perhaps horrible image of Prince Andrew leading the royal family into a very public grieving process. Uh, so I think if he appeared at, troop, at, at a garter day on Monday, it wouldn't have perhaps sat right with the public. But what's stopping him from taking part in the investiture ceremony when, you know, three or four knights and ladies companions were invested by the king in the throne room and indeed the private lunch as well. And we love seeing them all in the hats and, and, and with the feather hats and the dark velvet robes as well. So perhaps watch this space. But of course, as you say, Svar, Royal Lodge not over that feud. Yes, and speaking of Prince Andrew, his daughter, Princess Beatrice, recently attended a Spotify event at a French festival. Uh, this really caught my attention because obviously Spotify had a very bitter public split with Harry and Meghan uh, last year. They were branded uh, the PG version grifters by, yeah, then... um, by the head of podcasting at Spotify. Might have been a word beginning with F before you yeah. before you said the word grifters there, but yes. Yeah, and, and so... To see Beatrice uh, attend the Spotify event and also cozying up with uh, a Spotify executive, it just makes you think, what is her relationship like with Harry and Meghan at the moment? Yeah, it is really interesting because I think we have seen Princess Beatrice in particular uh, kind of become more cosy with the working royals over recent months. We saw the garden party of Prince William that she supported her cousin cousin for. Uh, again, I think perhaps we're hearing rumours that they might be starting to do more when it comes to uh, official public engagements, not as working royals, but helping out when they need to. Whereas I think that would be unheard of a couple of years ago where all the stories were they were cozying up to Harry and Meghan. But again, I don't think she needs to take sides because, again, it's all about the public image of the royal family and the private Windsor family. I think she can be friends or family have a good relationship with both both cousins both harry and william despite the brothers differences but the spotify thing is really interesting maybe it was just coincidence that they happened to be at the same event and she was invited i suspect maybe she's not going to suddenly launch a, a podcast like her because princess usually has a, has a podcast herself but princess beatrice doesn't but i guess watch this space and maybe we'll see but is that going to rub harry and Meghan up the wrong way i don't think harry will care too much but uh yeah, I think, I don't know, will there be some rivalry between Meghan and Princess Beatrice? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah.